Okay, this is an example from 2.1 in assignment 2. And we're really starting to get into the meat of what is calculus. And we're asked to find the slope of a curve. Now, we, you, we originally, back in algebra, found you know the slope of a line. And we used the change in uh, y over the change in x. It's really the basic idea here. Only now we're applying it to curves versus straight lines. And you can see we're asked to find the slope of the curve um, at y equals x squared minus 2x minus 2 at this point, p uh, 2, negative 2. So looking at this, we can see that um, we have this equation. And what I've done is I've written this out. Now, where did I get all this mess? Well, I'm going to open up the book here. And this here on page 41 is what you need to know, this average rate of change. This is the definition of our slope formula. And next section, we're going to add the limit in here. Right now, we're just working with this basic idea. And you can see we have f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So you can see that we have these two. So what we've done here is we've taken this. And so this first one, we've added h to each. So x plus h squared minus 2, x plus h uh, minus 2, since there's no x there. So what we've done was substituted in x plus h for x. Then we're minusing it from the function itself. And notice I put the uh, parentheses in here because I want to make sure I distribute this negative sign, and it's all over h. Now we need to simplify this. So this is, you foil this out, x squared plus 2xh. I just did the middle twice, plus h squared minus 2x minus 2h minus 2. Now let's get the sign distributed, minus x squared plus 2x plus 2. Two negatives make a positive. Now I'm going to come through here. What's the same? This and this cancel out. Positive and negative. This and this. This and this. You should expect this to happen. This mechanism is what sticks out. I'm not going to put the h over here, but we know it's there. So what are we left with? We're left with 2hx plus h squared minus 2h all over h. Now we can cancel. We've all got an h. We can cancel some h's, and we're left with 2x plus h minus 2. Now this is where we're going to be talking about the limit more in section 2.2, but we're approaching 0. So what's going to happen is that this h goes away because it's in essence getting so small it's going to 0. And this is the idea of the limit that we are going to continue to expand on in this chapter. So we have 2x minus 2. This is the formula of our slope. Now we take this and to find the exact slope at the point, we put this point in. So what's the x in this point? It's 2. So 2 times 2 minus 2. So 4 minus 2 is 2. So let's go back up. Oh, that's the wrong formula. No, nope, that's not. Oh, I need to find there. Oh, there we are. OK, so 2. This is the slope of our line at this point. So what do we do? We used this big, huge formula. And we used it to simplify down what was the formula of our slope. And you can see that's defined here in this picture. And this is what we're going to be using all term. Then we did, we did all the math out. We got down to this formula, and then we took our exact point, exactly where we are on that, on that line. We plugged it in to get the exact formula. Now, the next question is, what's, the, what's the, the tangent line at this point? So what's the point at this slope? So now we're going to go back to our basic algebra. Remember this? y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That's all we want here. We're just going to write a formula. We're going to use this point and uh, this slope we just got, this 2. So this is y plus 2. I canceled out the two negatives, the negative here and the negative here. 2 times x minus 2. Now I'm going to change color so you can see what I'm doing here. Got a little too much written on here. So what does this become? This becomes y plus 2 equals 2x minus 4. So y equals 2x. We have to move this. So the plus 4 because minus 4. So minus 2. So this is minus 6. So let's go back. And this is 2x minus 6. So what do we do here? Well, first, make sure you know that formula. Write it down in like 20 places. We use that to come up with a formula for our slope. Once we had our slope, we plugged in our exact point to get the exact slope at the time. And uh, that gave us A. To get B, we simply took the basic algebra idea of writing an equation, took the slope we just found, the point we were given, 
and wrote an equation.